Coming from quite a technical background myself, uh, it's interesting to observe Azar as, as the actuarial person in the group, trying to almost visually see him struggle with that and trying to tone it down and succeeding, I think, to a large extent. I, I don't feel that he's been the stereotypical actuary. It's clear that Matthew is, is grappling with what he's learning out of this week and I could almost see him subduing his natural self and, and that's meant that I think he's been probably a little bit more quiet than he should be uh, in the conversations. But if he's really trying to maximize his own learning out of the week, that's, that's a really good outcome. Walter, together with Aaron, has the opportunity today to really step up as, as a black person and speak up for a market that he would know better than some of the others. And I've been a bit disappointed that he hasn't done that and that he hasn't really shown the innovation and the fresh thinking which that much deeper knowledge that he comes with uh, gave him the opportunity today to, to really um, move up a level and, and, and make his mark on the competition. Today's task has been incredibly interesting. It's been, um, it hasn't been like any other task in this competition. It's been completely out of the box and it's honestly it's been something I've never dealt with before. The team dynamics today have been fantastic. We've really come together and uh, spitballed a lot of ideas. There's been no dramas and there's been no uh, pushing for position. Walter's given some, some definitely uh, valuable advice. So yeah, I believe Walter has played a part today and we really haven't, haven't shut him down in any way. I think Azar is definitely a stronger candidate than Walter. He has maintained a confidence throughout the show. He's also maintained quite a level head. It definitely has been a growing experience for me. I have realized one of my weaknesses during the competition and that's maybe that I'm too pushy. So I have changed that and I've adopted a different approach with every team that I've worked with since the, since, uh, the incident occurred. I believe I should be the insurance apprentice. Uh, I've played hard this, this entire competition. On all of the days, my input was was hugely valuable, if not crucial. I do think the girls have an alliance and I think it, it probably has played to their advantage. However, it is still a competition, so alliances quickly go out the window. I, I do know that I've been uh, in a losing team uh, in the past uh, tasks, but I've uh, tried uh, picking up my game in the last few tasks that we've had. Today it's all about being more involved and being more assertive with the team. I, I came up with the idea that we need to actually categorize the product into either being silver, um, gold and platinum. I am in the black income class, so it's something that I actually am involved in. Uh, I think Roxane and Mopedi are uh, of the view that because I've been in the losing team, um, there is absolutely no chance for me to actually step up in the game. Both have um, a presentation skills. Um, however, you may find that there is no much confidence on the knowledge on it. Aaron has got the corporate knowledge uh, and, and some of his knowledge is actually limited to the corporate claims. Where, where, where else on my side, I've got the commercial and I've also had an exposure to have, uh, to have uh, had a chance to audit some of the brokers on some of the claims. Azar wants things to be done in a specific way, which is his own way. Um, he likes crushing other people's idea, but at times you need to listen to other people and listen to their experience to be able to make that uh, decision if something is actually feasible to present or not. Matthew's uh, leadership skills is uh, more of being right all the time. So being a leader, you can't know everything entirely. You there is uh, things which you might not know and you need to be able to be, you need to be able to learn from other people. So from his side, he takes it as if he knows everything and that at some point it seems to be an, an, an ego issue. So in terms of the current task, uh, I think my teammates will agree it's, it's being led by me. Um, I've got a little bit of experience here. I've done a little bit of work in terms of research for black diamond type products. Insurance as an industry is such a wide industry with so many different aspects. And a lot of the individuals have very specialized skill sets that are better than mine. And a lot of them don't have the breadth of skill set. Matthew has a, has a good head on his shoulders. He's a, he's a young man and honestly I see a bright future 
ahead of him. Sure, I think a lot of the other contestants may say he's brash. I don't see him being brash and aggressive as a negative thing. So Moperi ticks a lot of boxes. She's a solid contender. I've had, I think, too little exposure to her to actually draw a nice conclusion to her skill set. She knows what she wants and she believes she knows how to get it. So in terms of what the judges are looking for in the insurance apprentice, firstly, I think ideally they would want a holistic insurance person. They would want, of course, a leader. They would, of course, want someone who is confident, comfortable, and has a good insurance knowledge. I portray a servant leadership type of a role where I would like to lead, but not in a very aggressive way. I would like to ensure that whoever has a view gets that view across. No one takes offense to anything that I'm said in sort of the direction that I'm leading because they are getting their view across. And also, I've changed my view certain times when other people have, uh, have, got, have put their views down. What I'm really looking forward to in the presentation to the board is to see whether people can distill to the essence of what the board wants to hear. I think it's a, it's a really hard skill and they are very likely to go into too much detail on issues that the board is not concerned about. Come in please. Well, hello to the Big Green Thinking Machine. We introduce Ikasi Kappa. Who is the customer? The black middle class, according to market research, is around 25 to 40 years of age. Their monthly income ranges between 16,000 and 50,000 per month, with an average disposable household monthly income of 8,000. We are creating a simple and easy to understand value proposition that meets the client's needs. Having done the market research, we have established that uh, our customers are mostly affected by theft of the valuable items, uh, car insurance, and some of them being arrest, uh, wrongfully arrested. So we have identified that our clients need personalized, personalized insurance, and there is also a need on the ed educational server, because most of them would fund the savings uh, education from their own funds. Our marketing strategy is streamlined to advertise on TV, um, radios, uh, and having SMS and callbacks. Um, Thai agents in townships, as our market is uh, mostly on the township sites, and also print and social media. We've designed four innovative packages, uh, which are split by premium and affordability criteria starting from the lowest being bronze, going to silver, to gold, and platinum obviously being the highest. A hospital cash plan in the event of uh, illness or injury. We've also introduced a unique education saver plan, and also obviously legal coverage as well to suggest that they need it for them being arrested whether wrongfully or not. We want to make it such that it's simple to understand, yet also flexible. What we've decided is for each and every section, there will be a Wonga type bar where the tied agent who's sitting with his iPad in front of the individual or the guy over the phone can ask how much do you wish to insure up to a certain limit. The, the idea of the Wonga bar I get across those benefits, but I don't understand what the relevance then is of the premium ranges for the different categories. Uh, the black community likes to have class. So the more class you have in terms of the type of insurance you've got on this category, gives you a bit of status. It appears to me as to be very traditional. Tide agents, very traditional, very, very very typical of the insurance industry. SMS callback being used by a lot of other financial services companies. So what about uh, you know things like the stock fraud community, using other applications for cell phones or smartphones and stuff like that. Thank you very much, gentlemen. You are excused. Back to you. Come. 
Well, teams, here we are. Uh, I will first turn to our guest uh, for some, uh, some feedback to the teams. Uh, there was not always enough listening, and uh, I think that's something to be thinking about. I think uh, my overall impression was that it was a very difficult task. Uh, I think for me, in the end, what has really made the difference was, was coming up with new innovations, even if they weren't uh, holistic new concepts, but, but specific components that one can look at. And then thinking broadly about the business as opposed to just the product concept. Just two general comments. Um, Andrew, in, in his introduction this morning, um, specified that uh, what we were looking for is a one-page marketing brochure document. And I think what we, what we got and what you produced wasn't that. It was more just notes to the board. It wasn't a brochure marketing document that could go out to the clients, uh, as a general comment. Um, and then secondly, I'm very pleased as a brand practitioner in insurance that all th six very hardcore technical insurance people have understood that brand and people and relationships is the real hard thing in our business. I must say today we had, uh, it's not a hung jury, it's a hung panel I suppose. Uh, in the end we basically all agreed uh, to agree, uh, but it wasn't clear cut. Both presentations uh, had merit, but marginally on the day and as far as uh, you know, the appreciation of what the target market is, uh, the, the winners that we decided on is uh, now, I must check again, Creative Solution. Finally, I'd like to thank my two panel members. Firstly, Andrew Leroux, and then my other panel member, uh, Carol Malta. Thanks again for your hard work today. Thank you.